Piper's Pick number 34. I'm Piper Reese. Welcome back to the show where your dreams are your ticket out. So what's cooking? I'll tell you what's cooking. We've got a story of a lovely lady with a website you've seen over and over, but you don't even know it. Check this out, baby. Ooh la la. Yup, that's iCarly and this is Lisa Lillian. AKA Hunger Girl. So wake up members of my nation and leave the rest to me. Holy Piperific pauses! Surely there must be somebody who can help. What's this? Lisa Lillian, the email tipster on how to make junk food less junky, is listening in. Looks like somebody's been using too much sugar. And somebody else has something to say about it. It's Super Hungry Girl! So Super Hungry Girl's off to save the day! Through good eating, of course! Piper, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Not as excited as I am to be here with you today, Piper. I'm more excited. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's fight about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to talk to you about your new cookbook, 200 Under 200. This is awesome. My dad is always telling me about hydrogenated oils and stuff, and your book tells how to make junk food better for you. That's exactly right. The book is filled with 200 recipes that have less than 200 calories each. So Lisa, how'd you get to be so hungry? Well, like most people, I love food, but I also like to create foods that don't have a lot of fat and a lot of calories. It would be awesome to create a recipe. I really see how you would like that so much. Which of the foods you make taste best to you, and most importantly, which dessert? I think my favorite recipe in the book, food-wise, the H.O.T. Hot Boneless Buffalo Wings. They're amazing. But as far as desserts, I think it's going to be the Double Trouble Chocolate Trifle, and we're going to make that together. That sounds amazing. And I love dessert, and it's not that bad for you. Awesome. Which recipe is the most fun to cook? <laughs> you know what? They're all so much fun to cook because they're all so easy. But again, I think I'm going to have to go with the double trouble chocolate trifle because there's pudding and Cool Whip and chocolate crumbs and oh, it's, it's awesome. That really sounds amazing. What's the easiest to make? There are some recipes that have like two or three ingredients. How much easier can you get than that? Yeah, that seems pretty easy. What's your favorite kind of food? Well, if I'm not counting calories, I like pizza and french fries. So I like the guilt-free versions of pizza and french fries that I make. I love french fries and I love pizza. Do you eat ketchup on your fries? Yeah, I love ketchup. I do like five dips. Five dips? What if there are 30 french fries? Do you still do five dips? No, probably like six. Five dips per fry. Five dips per fry? That's out of control. I go. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday food? I would have to say it's pumpkin pie. I think I've had that before, but I'm not sure. What's your favorite kind of pie? I'm not sure. I haven't had many pies, but probably pumpkin pie or apple pie. Because those are probably the only pies I've had. If you could make up any dessert, what would you make? Oh gosh, I think it would be like a triple chocolate coconut upside down peanut butter sundae bonanza. Cool. As long as it's dessert, I'm in. <laughs> a lot of people are into Weight Watchers. How'd you get hooked up with them? Well, I was writing a lot of recipes that were Weight Watchers friendly, and I started putting in the points values, because everyone that's on Weight Watchers counts points. And so they contacted me and asked me to start writing for their website. We saw you on Good Morning America. Was that fun? Oh, that was totally fun. Being on Good Morning America was like the coolest experience ever. I had a great time, but I felt very short. 
My mom knows how that feels. <laughs> Ooh. What do you like to do when you're not hungry? Well, I like to, boy, it all involves food. No, I like to watch American Idol. Yeah, I've seen one episode of that. I don't know why the swan girl got out. I have no idea, because some of the boys were bad, I think, but that girl was, like, really good. Who's your favorite? Kelly Clarkson. I love Kelly Clarkson. She's awesome. She is awesome, but she should wear a dress. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to say about that. How did you find out about us? Well, I think I saw your iCarly episode, which rocked, and then I saw your Jeanette McCurdy episode. Well, I've seen a few Je Jeanette McCurdy episodes, and they both rock, and so I Googled you and started watching all of the Piper's Picks episodes, and they all rock. Awesome. Are there any groovy smoothies recipes in the book? And my dad loves smoothies. Well, let's make him one, because there's a chocolate banana smoothie in the book that is so good. Where's the best place to find your book? The book is at Barnes & Noble, it's at Borders, it's at Target, Costco, Sam's Club, BJ's, and a supermarket near you. Oh, so it's really hard to find then? <laughs> I know, sadly it is. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, without a doubt, it's iCarly. I also like Drake and Josh. Yeah, I like Drake and Josh too, but I like iCarly more. This is how we found out about you. Can you tell us about this picture? Oh, I know what this picture is. This picture was taken in the editing bay at iCarly by my husband, who apparently is surfing the web and looking at HungryGirl.com while working. <laughs> this is what Dan was doing at work. Wow, animal print's cool. <laughs> are the recipes in the book for kids too? Absolutely, Piper. The recipes in the book are totally easy to make and kids can make them with their moms or their friends. This is amazing. So are you ready to do the cooler, cuter questions? I'm ready. Who's cooler, Dennis or Arvid? Dennis all the way. Who's cooter, Bobby Flay or the Swedish chef? Bobby Flay, totally. Who's cooler, Rachel Ray or Julia Child? No one in the world is cooler than Julia Child. Who's cooter, the Jolly Green Giant or the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Oh, the Jolly Green Giant. Who is he? He's on your vegetables. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Oh, like the guy that goes like Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Who's cooler, Barney the Dinosaur <laughs> or Grimace from McDonald's? Oh, Grimace. Oh, give me some hard questions, Piper. My favorite food is Domino's Pizza. Is there any way to make pizza healthier than Domino's? Absolutely. Domino's Pizza is not healthy. So I make pizza using a tortilla shell and some tomato sauce and some shredded low-fat cheese. It's pretty healthy. So you're on Twitter, email, and everything. What's the best place to find you? Well, hungry-girl.com is the website, but I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Is there anything else you want to say about your book? I think everybody should go out and buy it, and that, um, Piper, you're awesome. Thank you. You are, too. Ah, oh, hug. Now we're going to go make something? Yep, let's go to the kitchen. Woo okay, Piper, are you ready? We're going to make double trouble chocolate trifle. That sounds so good. Are you ready? We're going to start by putting some of these... Chocolate Vita Top crumbs at the bottom of the dish. Just spread them out evenly at the bottom of the dish. Chocolate pudding. Okay, now you're going to take your pudding, spread it out over the Vita Top crumbs. You don't have to be neat. It'll be delicious no matter what it looks like. That is true. It is true. Now, Cool Whip. Do you like Cool Whip? Whipped cool Whip is my favorite. Whipped cream is one of my favorite things. Well, I could eat whipped cream alone with nothing else. Okay, next we have more. You know what these are? Vita Tops. Vita Tops. More Vita Tops. Okay, you can use the spoon. Good job, Piper. Okay, and are you ready for the final layer? We have chocolate Cool Whip. This has chocolate syrup mixed in, so it's Cool Whip with chocolate syrup to make your Cool Whip taste like super chocolatey, which is a little trick. And here they are. Beautiful. All right, Piper, I had a change of heart. I think we should eat all of these ourselves and not share them with anyone. Okay. Sounds good. Mmm. These are good. This is too cool. I've got to talk to my parental units. According to my calculations in using Lisa's book, I can fit three desserts in to the same amount of calories. Thank you so much, Hungry Girl. So while we get to work on episode 35, Sign up for Lisa's email and check out 200 under 200. I'll be back. Episode 35 is filmed and ready to edit. It's back to LA and it's awesome.
awesome. Check us out on Twitter at Piper's Fix TV. And our AOL name is Team Piper. So until next time, Rock Dog and D, I'm Audie. You had a lot of personality. Oh, thanks. And you do now, too. Thanks. He says, this is ho ho. Isn't that Santa Claus? I don't know if we should be talking about mice when we're talking about the new cookbook. And it was so pretty at Texas. How long did you stay there? Um, for a few minutes. <laughs> that was probably the nicest airport I went to. Speaking of hungry girl, I'm hungry. Hello. <laughs> Keep on cooking, Piper's Picks. You rock. Once again, the day has been saved by Hungry Girl. The galaxy is safe.